Little Nugget. Today I'm going to do a book review on The Ice Twins by S.K. Tremaine. Now, just to give you um, a background about the story, the story itself is about a young couple called Sarah and Angus who moved to a remote island in Scotland that Angus has inherited from his grandmother. The reason why they move here is because, tragically, one of their twin girls, um, KSD, died in an accident and this that this is their way of basically leaving you know the life behind that they had um, and hopefully we start again now where we pick up the story we pick up from about about a year and a half um, after Kirsty has died and the couple are in the process of selling everything up um, and moving to the island now the island itself is um, in Scotland, as I say, it's only accessible by boat, so basically it's in the middle of nowhere, um, the cottage where they're going to stay is run down, derelict, and basically what they have to do is make it inhabitable. Now the book does have um, some pictures, some pages have some pictures on, so that one there you see, you know, the lighthouse, and um, as the story goes on you'll see more and more pictures. Now, <clears throat> the story is told from um, different perspectives. So you have Sarah's perspective and you have Angus's perspective. Basically, it's like a lot of the books are doing at the moment. A lot of books are doing two chapters on different um, person's perspective. And I think that is really, really good cool because it gets us to see an insight of what different people um, are thinking. It revolves around the surviving twin, Kirsty who as the book goes on gets more and more disturbed she basically starts saying to a, a mum and her teachers and everyone around her that you know she doesn't know why they're calling her um Kirsty she's Lydia uh, they got it wrong um you know why do they keep on doing this you know she's Lydia and Sarah the mother starts noticing um how how Kirsty is changing, how more like Lydia she is becoming, because that was the way that they told the twins apart. You know, twins have, you know, we all have different personalities, and that is the way um, that, you know, Sarah and Angus told them apart. The dog treats um, Kirsty differently, he starts treating more like Lydia, and, you know, they start to think, well, have we made a, a mistake? So, as the book goes on, it's all about um, Sarah and Angus dealing. Um, with their grief, dealing with the new revelations that have come about, you know, have they buried the wrong daughter, um, you know, um, for a year and a half, the thought that um, Lydia w was dead, you know, is it different, you know, was it Kirsty and Lydia's there and how do they go about resolving this? <clears throat> You also find out that, you know, um, they are quite troubled th themselves, you know, with each other. Um, the relationship isn't that great. Um, they blame each other for things. We found out that Angus does blame Sarah um, for Lydia's death. Um, we found out that, you know, things have happened in the past that could come to light. Now, <clears throat> I gave this book a four out of five on Goodreads. Only for the simple reason is the ending did disappoint me a slight little bit um <clears throat> but it wasn't enough to um stop my enjoyment of the book i thought it was a really good book i thought it was fast paced um i thought you know the character development was fantastic i thought that the twists in it were really good you actually um find out you know that lydia um Sorry, Kirsty, sorry, I keep on filming this video and saying the wrong twin's name. You find out uh, that Kirsty is pretty disturbed, as you can imagine, about her sister's death early on. She does actually say to her mother, you know, why are you calling me um, Kirsty all the time, I'm Lydia, early on in the book. So you're not waiting for it for ages, you know, to basically get in, into the book. It happens in the first couple of chapters. Um, it was, you know, well written. It is the only book ever to bring tears to my eyes. I don't necessarily always cry at books. Um, I didn't cry at the, um, looking for Alaska at all. Um, so, you, you know, it was one of those books that 
did make me feel um, quite quite emotional, which is an absolute first for me. I'd highly recommend this book um, to anybody. If you're looking for a suspense thriller, it can be quite haunting at times, quite scary, uh, what's going on. But I did thoroughly enjoy it and, you know, I would highly recommend um, that you go and pick it up, guys. So that's my review of The Ice Winds. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I shall love you and leave you as always and I shall see you soon. Bye. You probably tell from the title, um, Kirsty and Lydia were twins. Um, Kirsty is the surviving twin and Lydia is the one that tragically died. As the story goes on, Lydia gets... Is it Lydia? Oh, fucking hell. Lydia, Lydia dies, people! Lydia dies! Oh. You can probably tell from the title, um, Lydia and Kirsty were twins and tragically it is, it's Kirsty. No! Fucking Lydia! from the title, um, Kirsty and Lydia are twins, they're identical twins. Um, Lydia tragically dies and Kirsty, as the book goes on, becomes more and more disturbed. Now, the only, basically, um, what's the way I'm looking for? The only way that Sarah and Angus um, know that it's Lydia that um, tragically dies is the fact that it was Kirsty who said, um, that it, Lydia had um, died. That doesn't make sense.